Nowadays, people are turning to all kinds of methods to improve themselves, exploring philosophies and self-help techniques, or just resolving to be a better person. But we have to admit that these things at best only treat the superficial symptoms of a deeper problem we all have. I want to tell you a story from the Bible that illustrates the real solution to our condition. One day, as Jesus was making his way through a crowd of people pressing upon him, he suddenly felt divine power go out of him. He stopped and asked, Who is the one who touched me? A woman stepped forward and confessed to Jesus that she had deliberately touched him. This woman had been suffering from an uncontrollable hemorrhage for 12 years. She had spent everything on one physician after another, but there was no cure in sight. She was dying. Then she heard about Jesus and knew he was different. She approached him, believing if she touched even his garment, she would be healed. When she did, his divine power was transfused into her, stopping her flow of blood. Then Jesus tenderly said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be well from your affliction. Like this woman, we're all suffering from a serious affliction, sin. Sin is the source of all evil and suffering, both in us personally and in society. No wonder the many physicians of philosophy, self-help programs, or other methods we turn to are useless in treating sin. And just as the woman was dying of her disease, our sin will ultimately condemn us before God to die eternally. We need to be saved. To save us, God himself became an approachable man, Jesus Christ. He lived among people who were sick in every way with sin. Then he, the sinless one, died on the cross for our sins. The Bible tells us Jesus' redeeming death takes away our sins forever. Not only that, Jesus resurrected from the dead and became a life-giving spirit to give us eternal life. As the spirit, anyone can approach him. But merely hearing about Jesus won't save you. Like the woman in the story, you must come to Jesus in faith, believing in all he did for you. Your sins will be forgiven, and he will impart his eternal life into you. He will live in you to be your rescue from sin. You can touch him in faith right now by praying this simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I need you. I'm a sinner. I believe in all you did for me on the cross. Thank you for dying for me. I receive you as my Savior. Lord Jesus, come into me and give me your eternal life. Amen. We're so glad you've prayed to receive the Lord. We encourage you to visit this link to order a free study Bible and access resources which will help you in your walk with God.